know how many of these little boogers are going off tonight. Five, six. This is pretty constant, people. All you gotta do is bring up a weather map and take a look. This is March 22nd, uh, about 7.45 CT. Uh, so we're, we're getting to more and more detection. Uh, yeah, yep, every five minutes there's a sweep on the skin. Uh, and these little things just come to go. See what's strange about this is I swap it over to clouds and radar. And, uh, the storm, the green, the precipitation normally, <laughs> it isn't there. It's only been a couple of minutes. Let me swap back to the other screen. And this will take a few minutes to load up. So, what's up with that? <laughs> Simple question. I'll never get an answer, but that's cool. Okay. Some real curious things happen when you hit international as well. And this is a real slow look. You see this strange blackness? Well, that is a... Uh, low. Going up here, and it is just barely off of the, the lowest. But the curious thing is, ooh, what do you have here? Extremely low. I was watching these showy things yesterday, and this mass here, when it gets through loading up, oh, look at there. Finally got some cloud cover over it. But uh, opening up the net this morning, getting on YouTube, first thing I see is some people in this area absolutely ranting, with good reason, about the heavy trails. Well, look at this. People, this stuff normally isn't here. Look how it stays put. Come on now. Wake up. Oops. A little too much here. I'm not too good with this handheld camera noise. And I'm really getting tired of this. I imagine y'all are getting tired of my ranting as well. But if you look at the components of what's in a chemtrail, you would do a lot more than just rant. The square thing. Uh, normally they show up over Florida, about mid-Florida up north to about the bottom third of Georgia. Big square blackout, uh, or clear spots in the midst of the heavy cloud cover. We'll have this thing, but normally you can see a pretty well high. You'll see it with the, uh, the regular radar as well. But uh, this black nonsense always seems to be showing up on the international settings on clouds. You can get quite a bit of different things going. Oops. Wrong way. Here. On and off. On and off. Yeah, there you can see the square showing up. Now. <laughs> tell me this is normal. <laughs> I dare ya. <laughs> There's got to be something to cause this kind of and 
it's pretty easy to put two and two together. Everybody's screaming about heavy chems in these same places. And according to the legend on the map, that is low. This is the lowest, and this is next to it. So, to each their own. <laughs> this is just absolutely outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. I guess I'll quit. Later, y'all. This is March 22nd. I don't know why that... Oh, that's part of the situation. These maps change every uh, three hours, I believe. It could be four. So you're going to get quite a bit of different... See, if, if you go back to your... Uh, just plain old radar. Or clouds and radar. Plain old radar, or clouds and radar. You'll go back to uh, every five minutes or 10 minute, it depends on which one you're in. But you're going to get different stuff according to what settings you run your map. And always scroll back off your map. Don't just look at your area. Sometimes you can't spot this stuff in close. 